She is definitely screaming. Number 19! P equals S over 1 plus RT. P equals S over 1 plus RT. What do they give you for number 19? S equals Okay. So they give me S equals 24,600. So I'm going to plug that in for S. They give me R equals 0 0.06. And they give me T equals 512. Now, you are going to need a calculator for this, but I do expect you to write your work in. Okay? And what I mean by that is, is exactly what I'm doing here. Okay? Order of operations says I have to do what's in parentheses first. So I assume that this and this are in parentheses, as long as I can't reduce, which I can't because I have a plus sign there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply first by order of operations. Now, in order to multiply 0 0.06 to 512, I either have to change 512 to a fraction or to a decimal or 0 0.06 to a fraction. I would change it to a fraction so I can reduce the 6 and the 12. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm going to do this part right here. So I have 24,600 divided by 1 plus, i change to a fraction. What's 0 0.06 as a fraction? 6 over, 6 over 100 times 5 over 12. Now, when you multiply fractions, the first thing you do, cross reduce. So here I'm going to do my 6 and 12, 1 and 2. Can I do 5 and 100? Yeah. Yeah. 20 and 1. Now what, what do I do with my fraction? Yeah, it's 1 for you. I multiply across the top. I get 1 bottom 40. So I have 1 plus 1 over 40 and this still have 24,600. Put my P down. P equals. Now, everything on the bottom? Good question. 1 through 20. 1 through 20. You just asked us that last period. Yeah. Now what? One plus 1 plus 1 40th. Okay. How do I do that? 1 and 1 40th. Oh, I want, right now I want an improper fraction. Okay. It would be 1 and 1 40th. No. Well, how do you write 1 as a fraction? 1 over 1. How do you write it with a denominator of 40 so that I can add the numerators? 40 over 40, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to change this 1 to 40 over 40. So I have 40 over 40 plus 1 over 40. And I still have over 24,600. So what does that give me on the bottom? 41 over 40. 41 over 40. So I have 24,600 divided by 41 over 40. I added the top and I left the denominator the same. Now, is this not the same thing as this? 24,600. Whoops, that's not a 6. 600 divided by 41 over 40. Same thing, right? How do you divide a fraction? Not common denominator, multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, remember? So I'm going to take the first one, 24,600, and make it a fraction. Number one, times, I'm going to flip this one. 40 over 41. Can I cross reduce? Well, let's see if 24,600 is divisible by 41. This is when you can use a calculator. 24,600 divided by 41. Huh, it is. Okay? 
I divided this by 41 and I got 600. This divided by 41 is 1. I know 41 is not divisible by anything else, really. Just 1 and 41, right? So if this is divisible by 41, I can divide both of them by 41. So the, all I did was divide 24,600 by 41, and I got 600. Now I can multiply 600 by 40 easier than I can multiply 24,600 divided by 40 divided by 41, or times 40 divided by 41. Yep, so I have 24,000 over 1, because I multiply 600 times 40, I mean 24,000, and then 1's on the bottom just gives you over 1, so that is nice. Is okay, so that was number, what number was that? 19. I'll label that. Okay, what other one? Let's do another one. Number 16. Okay, number 16 says x equals one half a t squared. And it gives me t and it gives me x. So I have 150 for x equals one half. Gives me t, but not a. T is five. Now I have to solve for x. Well, first thing first, order of operations, I have to do the exponent. Five squared, five times five, gives me twenty-five. So I have one half times a times twenty-five equals one fifty. Now. I would multiply, this is multiplication, so I can do it in any order that I want. I can multiply one half times 25. Well, what's half of 25? 12 and a half, right? So I have 12 and a half, or if you want to write 25 over 2, that's fine. That's what I would write. Okay, I just put this over 1, multiply the top, multiply the bottom, and say, why would I write it as 25 over 2? Well, if I want to get rid of it, what do I have to do now? You want to get rid of a fraction so I can have a by itself, what do I do? Multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 over 25. That's easier, I think, than dividing by 12 and a half. Because then you got to get out the calculator. So then I have a on this side, and I have to do the same thing to this side. Well, watch what happens. Can you reduce, cross-reduce here with 150 and 25? Now do you see why I wanted to do that? What's 150 divided by 25? Six. So what is A equal? Six times two, one times one. Twelve. If I'm going too fast, remember you can always grab this online. I'm going to post this as homework examples. You can go through it again. Okay? Number thirteen? Number thirteen. Shoot, did I put what number that one was at the top? What number was that one? Sixteen. Number thirteen. Okay, m equals p times 1 plus i over dn. It gives me p, i, and n. So I have 640, 0.02, and 8. Basically now it's just order of operations. Order of operations, what do I do first? Not uh, exponents, what comes before exponents? Parentheses, yes. 1 plus 0 0.02, so I have 640 times 1.02 to the 8. Now, after parentheses, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, e equals exponent. So 1.02 to the 8. Now, you are not going to be able to do that in your head, okay? That's when you use a calculator. So you're going to grab the calculator, 1.02 to the 8th power gives me 1.17165938 Here is my recommendation to you. Instead of rounding this, I would take this number and multiply it exactly by 640 instead of clearing it out and rounding it and clearing it out because you're going to get a more accurate answer. You understand what I mean? You can write down this whole number. I think there's like, what, nine digits in it? But instead of doing that, I'm okay if you just leave this step, do 1.02 to the 8th power, and then take that number times 640, and you're going to get a very accurate answer because it was nine decimal places, okay, on your calculator. So I have 
0.862038, which is just 86 cents. Yeah. So there's your answer. That's what I did. I just, just leave it in your calculator. That way, you, a lot of times if you don't leave 1.02 to the eighth power in your calculator and you multiply it by 64, 640, you're going to end up with like 749.88 or something like that. Or like a, your cent is going to be off. So instead of rounding 1.02 to the eighth, just leave it in your calculator and multiply it by 640. Okay? All right, that's number 13. Any other questions? Okay, these are all saved, so if you, I went too fast on some of those, you can go ahead and watch them again. We need to move on today, so pass those forward.